What up, what up, what up guys, and welcome back to my channel. So guys, what's new, what's new, what's new? What's new with you? What's, what you guys been up to down here? Much, huh? Huh? Been up to much, guys, huh? Me, not that much. Just the usual, really, work and play. And guys, I gotta be honest, guys. I gotta be honest. I was a bit peed off the other day because uh, basically I wanted to play uh, Fortnite, so I, I, put, I tried to... Um, download Fortnite and um, it says I can't download it basically because I've run out of space so I had to pick up a uh, external hard drive I was a bit cunted off with that I had to pick up an external hard drive I bought this one here this Seagate external hard drive um, managed to pick it up from the CX it's a 500 gigabyte one as well I got it for 18 quid so I thought yeah that's not too bad a deal so now I've got Fortnite, I've got Fortnite on, on there, guys, and uh, had a bit of a play with it, and it's really sweet. Also, I bought a new monitor as well, guys, because I've been using that TV for too long with my laptop, so I thought, yeah, let's get a proper, decent monitor so we can, like, run things smoothly. So this is 100 hertz, it's 100 hertz Acer monitor, 27 inch. Uh, and guys, I've got to be honest, it's it's really smooth. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's really smooth for games. I mean, um, for the price it is, it's it's meant to be 115 pounds brand new, but I picked it up used uh, for only 60 quid, and that's even cheaper than like not just cheaper than the 115, but like you don't even get like 100 hertz monitors for 115. Normally, they're like 150. You know what I mean? I managed to get this for uh, only 115, uh, 60 quid. Uh, brand new, it's 115. I got it for 60 quid used. And I looked in the date as well, and it's 2023. It, I think it was May, when was it? Um, it said, was it June 2023? So it's like, you know, it's very, very, it's hard to have any use. I mean, it looks like it's somebody that's literally just bought it and just like had it for a few days or what, a few weeks, a few months, and just sold it. Maybe they wanted something, uh, maybe, maybe they wanted like a, a really high end one, like a 240 hertz monitor, but like with with the games I'm playing anyway, I don't need that type of power really, you know, I'm only playing Fortnite and Overwatch 2, um, Warzone, I've got a Cyberpunk 2077 on there as well, so um, I've just downloaded Cyberpunk on there as well, so... So I've got a few things to play, and I'm going to put Apex on as well, because this, 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 my gaming laptop, it only came with 256 gig when I bought it, you know, um, and that was pretty shitty, because basically that only gave me, I could basically only put three games on there, well at the start I could only play um, Overwatch 2, I had that on there, I had um, Warzone, and I had um, uh, Fortnite, but then like, because you kept getting, because I kept getting a load of updates, it kept, the games kept growing and expanding and expanding, like the universe. So like, it kept taking up more gigabytes and more gigabytes on my hard drive, till eventually, I ran out of space, so I could only have two in there. <laughs> so now like, uh, I had to delete one of them. So that's what spurred me on to get the, the 500 gig hard drive. But yeah guys, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you the one here anyway. On Overwatch 2, uh, no, I'll put Fortnite. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put Fortnite on. Uh, just so you guys know, it's the um, it's the Acer KA272. Yeah, I mean they're going they're going in Argos for a 115 in Argos, and the same in Cruise as well. I was going to just buy that, but then I seen it on ca in cash converters for 60. So I thought, yeah, I might as well just save. 55 quid you know because the amount of things i've like lost in cash converts over the years i've like bought stuff for cheap and then sold them for cheap you know what i mean so i thought let me let me instead get something like that's uh that's like a good price so that's what i did um yeah guys i mean i, I was thinking like it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy you know because the majority of games you play, like, they're not even fun, really. I've got to be honest, guys, they're not really that fun. Um, you could argue, oh, well, what really is really, really fun? 
and to be honest you'd have a point there's not the only thing that's really really fun is maybe sex and um going on holiday or something uh you know you have sex with a really nice really nice woman that you're really into and it's really good you know but like um and who said who said games were meant to be really really fun anyway they're just meant to be something to do it's like lego lego is not really really fun is it so maybe i'm expecting too much anyway from it you know i've got to learn my ambitions with games i mean end of the day they're only going to start making games that are only uh most of them are just first person shooters or like shooters of some kind anyway i mean i used to think i used to think why don't they make like why don't they do like beat em ups because i remember um I used to play um, Streets of Rage, that Streets of Rage on the Mega Drive. Um, my big brother had that and I used to play that with him. And um, when I was about six, I used to play that and like, I thought it was, I thought it was actually kind of fun. I can't lie guys, I thought it was actually kind of fun. So I think because like, when you're younger, games feel more fun as well. But then like, as I've grown up and I've played loads of games, most of them started being, all started being first person shooters. The majority of games that were coming out, like what they really, what the developers really put effort into, like in terms of like the graphics and like, um, like the gameplay and the storyline, etc., etc. They, they put the main, they put the main effort into like first person shooters. And they totally forgot about other genres like you know, uh, walk along beat em ups. Um, like even the FIFA games aren't very popular now. I remember people used to like play FIFA a lot. Now you notice how like hardly anyone speaks of FIFA games. Cause they've just gone dead. You know, it's all of, all the time now. The streamers are all streaming first person shooters. You know, in Fortnite as well. Which I think you can. I think you. I'm not sure if you can put Fortnite. No, you can't put Fortnite in first person shooter, can you? No, you can't. That's um, that's PUBG. You can you can, you can put in, uh, into that into the first person shooter uh, mode. But yeah, but anyway, you know, it's, anyway, guys, you know, it's weird. I just I just clicked on Fortnite. It was all, and then it's just gone off. Um. But I want to show you the monitor anyway, because it's nice visuals, and it's also, guys, you know, it's nice and slim as well, so you, you feel more immersed when you're playing a game. And this TV behind it is, uh, that's a 43 inch Samsung, yeah, and that's 27 inch monitor. It doesn't look that much bigger, what, like, white, width wise, you look at the width, so the TV's from there to there, and that's 43, and that's 27, it's not even that much wider. The height is quite a bit, but <coughs> I think I think when they're smaller, I think when the monitors are smaller, they're a bit more wider. It kind of makes sense because I've seen this um, this like extra wide um, LG monitor, um, in um, where was it? in Corys. It was like really, it was like longer. It was about I'd say it was about. I'd say it's about four foot long, wide, four foot wide. And like, but it's really, it's really like, um, it's really small in terms of height though. So it's like, I think it was something like a 20, was it a 20 by nine aspect ratio? It might've been even more. I think it might've been a 25 by 11 or something like that aspect ratio. Some really crazy aspect ratio. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's quickly get into this game. I've still got to get my, still got to get my PC because I've got actually got my PC as well. But um, the power supply, the power su of, um, I'm getting the power su supply upgraded from a 350, uh, a 350 watt to a uh, 750 watt. Just because I'm going to, um, I'm going to upgrade like the, pro uh, the graphics card in that as well in my PC. I'm going to put around 3060 Ti in there. But um, at the moment, I'm not going to do that. But I thought I just, I just, I just get the power supply. So when I want it, I can. Right now, the piece is mainly just for decoration because it's got some nice bright red lights in it. So I just, I just like have it just like download likes music and stuff. It's a workhorse. 
and just keep it on running in the background because like when I'm gaming on my laptop with a monitor um, it's, a, it's sort of like it gives that ambient effect to the room so it looks like more gamey-ish and uh, my friends come around in that as well they've got their uh, they bring their controllers around as well and sometimes they like um, play like um, one of my mates has got a room um, what's it called you know the uh, thingy, the handheld one. It's got the handheld one that's connected, so play that as well. Shit. Well, yeah, guys, this is one of it's, it's, I got it. I got it in a. I, I put it in a hundred hertz as well because I took V Sync off as well because uh, especially in Overwatch 2, I just discovered that um, I could have been getting way more frames per second than I was because in Overwatch 2 you can have V-Sync on or off here. I was used to, because everyone used to say keep V-Sync on, it's better. So I just kept it on, I didn't even try it off. And it was capping me at 144 frames per second. But when I turned it off, I started getting 260 fr 206 frames per second. You know what I mean? And it felt so buttery smooth. So like, I just keeping it off all the time now, guys. It's crazy how like if you don't that's the thing with that's, that's, that's the thing you know if you just have one thing set in your head to do yeah and you don't even try something out it's pretty stupid like why not just try it out just to, just to see i should have tried it out i should have tried i should have tried the v-sync off ages ago yeah guys i don't know though why i don't know why this game what pees me off about fortnite is that it takes so long to land it takes so long to land from the uh, from the initial jump out, you know. Oh, I've got my food. I've got my food. I'm going to eat in a minute, guys. Anyway, I've got some um, patty. I brought a Jamaican patty from Sainsbury's, so I'm going to eat that in a bit. And I'm going to go to the gym. Uh, I've got to post. I've got to post some stuff off. Anyway, guys, as you can see, it's, it's nice and smooth. It's, it's, it's good, you know. It's nice, nice monitor. Yeah, I've got to post some stuff off because um, I, I sold I sold these jeans. I sold these and um, I bought these nude jeans. Yeah, I bought them for like thirty quid. They're meant to be like eighty, ninety quid. Um, you go on the nude website, it'd be like one hundred quid or something, ninety five quid. Nude jeans, thin, thin, yeah. Japan, Japanese dental and um, I put them on eBay I thought I could get like about 40 for them put them on there for 24 pound no one was bidding and this guy offered me 20 quid so I thought oh fuck it they just sell it because I can't wear them no more anyway because they've just gone really slim they've just gone really slim on me so I think I put some weight on basically so I'd, I can't fit into them no more so 